This two-cylinder steamer was advertised as the greatest hill climber ever produced, as shown by tests in the Allegheny Mountains. The Baldwin also had no visible exhaust and was simple and reliable. Powered by a 48-volt battery, this wagon could reach a speed of 12 miles per hour and a range of 40 miles on one charge. At the time, Studebaker proclaimed itself the largest vehicle builder in the world. This one-cylinder runabout was known as the Curved Dash Oldsmobile. The Model R was the first car produced by the Olds Motor Works to bear the name Oldsmobile, and was one of the very first mass-produced automobiles in the United States. Known for its endurance and reliability, it was the first car used by the U.S. Postal Service. This five-passenger, one-cylinder car had a two-speed planetary transmission. 1906 was Cadillac's biggest year for the sales of single-cylinder cars. There were nearly 14,000 single-cylinder Cadillacs in use throughout the world. This four-cylinder Hupmobile was a light and nimble two-passenger car, which included a two-speed sliding gear transmission and a high-tension magneto ignition system, unusual features for a low-priced car. This car had a four-cylinder engine and a three-speed manual transmission. The Regal Motor Car Company of Detroit built automobiles from 1907 through 1914. They shipped their first 175 cars in 1908 and then recalled all 175 cars for mechanical problems, marking perhaps Detroit's first auto recall. The Hudson Motor Car Company was primarily funded by department store owner Joseph L. Hudson, who wanted to build a low-priced car for under $1,000, $24,000 by today's standard. The resulting Hudson 20 was one of the first low-priced cars in America, selling more than 4,000 units in its first year. This motorette had a two-cylinder engine, a three-speed transmission, and used a tiller steering system. Advertised as one more wheel than a motorcycle, one less than an automobile, with the low-cost, lightweight advantages of the former and the comfort and reliability of the latter, only 210 motorettes were ever built. Powered by 12 6-volt batteries, this car could travel 100 miles on a single charge. In 1911, a four-seat Baker Electric was selling for $2,800 in the luxury market. The Baker also was selected as one of the first automobiles to be used by the White House fleet. The driver operated the car from the rear seat using a tiller arm and the front seats revolved. This two-cylinder high-wheeler was innovative for its water-cooled instead of air-cooled engine. The engine is matched up to a two-speed manual friction transmission with a chain drive. This Oakland 35 Roadster came with a three-speed manual transmission. In 1908, the Oakland Motor Company merged with the Pontiac Spring and Wagon Works and in 1931, the Oakland name was dropped in favor of the Pontiac Motor Car Company. The REO Touring Car had a three-speed manual transmission and a four-cylinder engine with a rating of 35 horsepower. Forced out of Oldsmobile, a company he had formed, Ransom E. Olds created the REO Motor Company in 1905. With a water-cooled two-cylinder 20-horsepower engine, the International Harvester's Auto Buggy was a personal automobile that could be modified into other body styles, most notably the Auto Wagon, which was utilized as a multi-use utility truck, especially in rural areas. This touring car has a four-cylinder engine with 22 horsepower. The Type 20 was known for its high oil consumption and smoky exhaust, but was also renowned for its quiet motor and durability. Daimler, unlike other luxury automakers, built their coach bodies in-house. 
the Detroit was the best known and most successful electric car of its era and could go 80 miles on a single charge. They were noted for their tall, beautifully constructed, and China cabinet-like bodies. The Detroit cost between $2,500 and $3,000 and was marketed to women who appreciated not having to use a hand crank to start their cars and the lack of exhaust fumes and engine noise. The Pierce Arrow was considered the American equivalent of the British Rolls-Royce and came with a six-cylinder engine producing 38 horsepower with a four-speed manual transmission. This 225 cubic inch six cylinder engine with three speed transmission produced 45 horsepower. The car was a dynamic performer for its era. It came with a solid front axle, semi elliptic leaf spring suspension, and two wheel mechanical drum brakes. This Model 5 was powered by a six cylinder slide valve L head engine. The Brewster Company was known as the best coach builders of the day. John D. Rockefeller Jr. purchased the company as a birthday gift to his father. This limousine had a 315 cubic inch V8 engine producing 31 horsepower with a 3-speed manual transmission. Cadillac was one of the first automakers to introduce a limousine, a very luxurious car, plus Cadillac's most expensive model. This Chevrolet's 224 cubic inch 4-cylinder engine with 3-speed manual transmission produced 37 horses. The car was available as either a roadster called the Royal Mail or as a touring car called Baby Grand. The Type 57 Phaeton had a 314 cubic inch L head V8 engine producing 31 horses. The Type 57 developed a reputation among U.S. Army officers as a durable staff car during World War I. The car came equipped with artillery wheels as standard equipment. The Stanley Steamer was powered by a two-cylinder, 20-horsepowered steam engine. The car was a seven-passenger, open touring car that could travel up to 75 miles per hour with a range of 200 miles. This six-cylinder Franklin car was rated at 25 horsepower. The Franklin Automobile Company produced the longest-lived and most successful air-cooled automobiles in the United States. The 9B featured a horse collar hood. This early fire truck had a 558 cubic inch six-cylinder engine producing 54 horses. Harry C. Stutz founded the Stutz Fire Engine Company in 1919 after he was forced to sell his original Stutz Motor Company. This particular pumper was commissioned in 1921 by the Indianapolis, Indiana Fire Department where it remained in use until 1962. The Model T revolutionized the world through design, utility, and method of mass production. With a 177 cubic inch four-cylinder engine, it was simple to work on and extremely durable. The Model T made owning an automobile affordable for the masses. The Olympic Motor Truck Company operated in Tacoma, Washington and built between 30 and 40 trucks between 1920 to 1927. This truck had a 29 cubic inch four-cylinder engine. This car has a 276 cubic inch straight six engine and was built in Spain. The Abadal was considered a fast luxury car. The single six had a 268 cubic inch engine which produced 54 horses. Never was there a car more truly packer than the single six. Always ready to do so much for so little was how Packard advertised the car. 
It was an attempt to attract buyers who could not afford the new single eight. This Buick came with two different engine sizes, a 191 and 331 cubic inch inline six. The Roadster came with a 171 cubic inch four cylinder engine producing 26 horses. The Superior introduced a new rear axle that eliminated the infamous Chevrolet hum that had plagued buyers since 1916. The car's success contributed to cutting Ford's sales lead from 8 to 1 to 4 to 1 in 1925. If you will only sing the, the Silver Ghost was equipped with a 289 cubic inch straight six engine. Called the Silver Ghost because of its ghost like quietness, only 7,874 units were built during a 20 year period. This stunning roadster has a 340 cubic inch six cylinder engine. The manufacturer, the Nordyke and Marmon Company, was originally a well-established builder of flour milling equipment. The LaSalle came with an eight-cylinder, 303 cubic inch engine, putting out 75 horses. The 303 was a two-passenger roadster with a rumble seat. Its top speed was 70 miles per hour, and it was designed by Harley Earl and created by Fisher. Only 1,184 units were built between 1927 and 1928. In 1927, Ford revamped the appearance of the old-fashioned Model T for the first time in a decade in an attempt to reinterest the public and revive flagging sales. Ford went so far as to provide new paint colors for the first time since 1913. When production of the Model T ceased in 1927, 15 million units had been sold since 1908. The Model A Coupe came with a 200 cubic inch four cylinder engine with three speed manual transmission. The Model A was manufactured from 1927 to 1931 and was available in 38 models. It was assembled in 12 countries. The Model A was also available with a custom wood body. This Hupmobile had an eight-cylinder engine and is rated at 80 horsepower. The Hup Motor Car Company had a history of producing affordable, conservatively styled vehicles. The 1929 Model A was the best-selling car in America. The car was praised in this song Henry's made a lady out of Lizzie. The car sold for $450 and the Roadster was the second most popular style of the Model A's. This 1929 Durant was produced by William C. Durant, founder of General Motors, after he lost control of General Motors and Chevrolet. It had a 185 cubic inch six cylinder engine and sold new for $845. All Franklin automobiles featured air-cooled engines, a design allegedly copied from the French Renault. The Model 130 had a 236 cubic inch six-cylinder engine with three-speed manual transmission. In 1929, Franklin had sold nearly 14,000 Model 130s. The Cadillac Imperial had a 341 cubic inch V8 engine with three speed manual transmission and 90 horsepower. The seven passenger Imperial's body was built by Fleetwood. John Willys was an entrepreneur involved in the sale and manufacture of bicycles. In 1900, Willys began building an automobile manufacturing empire that, for a brief time, was second in production to Ford. The Packard 8 had a 320 cubic inch inline eight cylinder engine rated at 90 horsepower. The car was offered as a roadster, a convertible, or an exotic speedster. 
This Duesenberg hosted a 420 cubic inch engine rated at 265 horsepower with a dual overhead cam straight 8 engine and a 3 speed transmission. Beginning in 1932, a supercharger option was available. The car's top speed was 119 miles per hour. This 1930 Lincoln featured dual windshield wipers and safety glass and was powered by a 384 cubic inch engine with three speed manual transmission. 1930 saw the end of the Model L production. Here we have a 1930 Packard 740 Coupe that was powered by a 385 cubic inch straight eight engine producing over 105 horsepower. The Studebaker President is one of the most prized models in Studebaker history. It has a 337 cubic inch inline 8 engine with 3 speed manual transmission and is rated at 122 horsepower. This Ford panel truck had an impressive 20 cubic feet of cargo space and a modest price tag of $535. In 1931, it outsold Chevrolet's counterparts and was available in 38 different colors. It was powered by a 201 cubic inch four-cylinder engine. This deluxe Ford Roadster introduced the all-new Flathead V8 and was known as the Ford Deuce. It was an icon in the hot rod community and could be bought for less than $500. Designed by E.L. Cord of the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Automobile Conglomerate, the Auburn came equipped with a Columbia Dual Ratio rear axle, which allowed the driver to adjust the car's performance while in motion according to load, speed, and road conditions. It was powered by a 269 cubic inch eight cylinder engine. Featuring an all-wood box and canopy frame, the Model BB was known as the Huckster because of their use by roadside and route-driving entrepreneurs to sell their goods. Advertised as a 6 for the price of a 4, the Huckster came with roll-up canvas sides and was powered by a 194 cubic inch overhead valve 6-cylinder engine. This Dodge Coupe featured front opening doors and a streamlined appearance. Only 8,879 units were produced. It had a 201 cubic inch inline six cylinder engine with three speed manual transmission. Designed by Raymond Lowy, who later created the Studebaker Avanti in 1963, this Hupmobile was acclaimed for its flamboyant styling, which included sleek fenders that closely followed the curve of the wheels, mimicking those found on bicycles and motorcycles. It had a 303 cubic inch eight-cylinder engine. Considered Chrysler's intermediate model, the Royal 8 featured dual windshield wipers, dual tail lights, and dual chrome trumpet horns. Also standard was an automatic vacuum clutch and adjustable front seats. It was powered by a 274 cubic inch inline 8 cylinder engine. The LeBaron Limo came with a 385 cubic inch straight 8 engine and was offered with both a 3 and 4 speed manual transmission. Only 70 LeBaron limos were ever built over a four-year period, making this an extremely rare car. The Packard 120 was a full-size luxury car that sold for $1,095. The 120 utilized one of the earliest jingles that went when heaven was at the corner of Sycamore and Maine. The 120 was powered by a 257 cubic inch inline eight cylinder engine producing 110 horses. The 328 Roadster was very popular with illegal moonshiners because of its speed and handling. It was powered by a 221 cubic inch flathead V8 engine with a two speed manual transmission. This 328 Roadster won more than 100 races in its class in 1937. In 1938, the 328 won the 24 hour at Le Mans, again in its class. 
It is powered by a 117 cubic inch overhead valve inline six engine, putting out 80 horses. Only 433 cars were ever built. The cord had an iconic coffin nose and hidden flip-up headlights. This innovative front-wheel drive design allowed the vehicle to ride lower than previous models, thus eliminating the need for side running boards to step on. Only 37 model 812s were ever produced. It had a 238 cubic inch V8 engine that produced 125 horses. Similar in style to the revolutionary 36 Lincoln Zephyr, the Model 78 featured teardrop headlights mounted within the front fenders, plus a new grille with horizontal bars and matching side vents, which added to its sleek look. Only 1,250 roasters were produced. It had a 221 cubic inch V8 engine, producing 85 horses. The Bantam Hollywood Roadster was available in 18 different body styles and achieved a fuel economy of almost 60 miles per gallon. Its low price earned it accolades as the world's most economical car in 1938. It came with a 45 cubic inch four-cylinder engine. Packard was one of the highly prized three Ps of early automotive history, along with Peerless and Pierce Arrow. Known for high style and superb quality, it had a 320 cubic inch, eight cylinder engine providing 130 horses. This cute little Crosley weighed less than 1,000 pounds and was sold alongside Crosley radios and refrigerators in Macy's and Bamberger's department stores. It had a two cylinder air cooled engine with 12 horses. The Zephyr was one of the most popular cars of the pioneering streamlined design that appeared in the early 1930s. It had a 267 cubic inch V12 engine producing 110 horses. This six passenger limousine came with a privacy glass divider, passenger footrest, and storage compartments built into the back of the front seat. It also included the innovative fluid drive transmission, automatic overdrive, and vacuum operated brakes. It had a 324 cubic inch eight cylinder engine. Only 210 cars were ever produced. The Series 62 was the first Cadillac produced after World War II and was based on pre war models. It came with a 346 cubic inch V8 engine producing 150 horses. This M15 sported a more aerodynamic shape than most trucks of its day. It also had wind wing vents on the driver's and passenger's windows, a feature not found on any other American cars until after World War II. It was powered by a 169 cubic inch six cylinder engine with four speed manual transmission. The first Continental was a customized Lincoln Zephyr built in 1939 at the request of Edsel Ford. After World War II, production resumed with no changes from the 42 model until 1948. It had a 292 cubic inch V12 engine with three-speed manual transmission providing 125 horses. This 1947 truck was one of over 176,000 panel trucks used by the Railway Express Agency from World War I until 1975. During World War I, the U.S. government was concerned about the rapid and safe movement of parcels, money, and goods. So, in 1917, it created the Railway Express Agency, or REA. At its peak, the REA employed 45,000 people. This truck had a 226 cubic inch six cylinder engine with three speed manual transmission.
This Woody Wagon was one of the last all wooden car bodies built. Ford ceased production due to the high cost of building and maintenance. Its 239 cubic inch flathead V8 engine produced 100 horses. The New Yorker was advertised as having been daringly restyled to be the finest in the fine car field. It had a 324 cubic inch eight cylinder engine rated at 135 horsepower. Priced at $3,235, only 899 New Yorkers were ever built, making them a rare car today. The Champion was sold both as a low-priced Champion and as a luxurious Commander, and was designed by Raymond Lowy. It had a 170 cubic inch six-cylinder engine with three-speed manual transmission, producing 85 horses. The Champion was commonly referred to as the bullet-nosed car. The MG was aimed at the U.S. market and offered left-hand driving along with rack and pinion steering plus 15-inch steel disc wheels. It came with a 76 cubic inch four-cylinder engine. 80% of all MG TDs were imported to the U.S. The Kaiser Dragon cars were considered to be the most luxurious cars ever built by Kaiser Frazier. Prior to design, women were surveyed about their likes and preferences in an automobile. It came with a 226 cubic inch six-cylinder engine that produced 118 horses. This Jaguar sports car had a 3.4 liter straight six engine. The 120 in its name referred to the car's top speed of 120 miles per hour, faster with the windscreen removed. It was the world's fastest production car at the time of its launch in 1948. Between 1948 and 1954, 12,055 cars were produced. This personal luxury car was only manufactured as a convertible until 1956 when a hardtop was offered. The car came standard with a steel continental spare tire and had a 352 cubic inch V8 engine providing 275 horses. Only 500 cars were built in 1955. The Eldorado had a unique tall thin tail fin which was more pronounced than other tail fins of the day. This feature made the Eldorado instantly recognizable and foreshadowed the increasingly flamboyant tail fins found on Cadillacs of the late 1950s. It was powered by a 331 cubic inch eight cylinder engine. The Ford Fairlane featured a two-tone paint scheme with numerous bright eye-catching colors designed to appeal to women. It was also for its first year for wraparound windshields. It came with a 292 cubic inch V8 engine rated at 182 horses. Known for its famous gullwing doors, the 300 SL was very expensive at $9,000. Only 1,400 SLs were built between 1954 and 1957. The car had an 83 cubic inch six cylinder engine with four speed manual transmission, producing 240 horses. This Mercedes is considered one of the most iconic automobiles of the 20th century. Built by the West German aircraft manufacturer, the KR200 was a two-seat, rear-wheel drive car. The bubble top model featured what was commonly called a snow white coffin, which was hinged on top and could be removed. It was powered by a 12 cubic inch, one cylinder engine, producing 10 horses. To craft the finest automobiles in America, was the motto of the short-lived Continental Division of the Ford Motor Company. This car listed for $9,966 and came with a 368 cubic inch V8 engine. 
This two-seat T-Bird is one of America's most iconic automobiles. Powered by a 312 cubic inch V8 engine, it was rated at 245 horses. Ford called the T-Bird a personal car instead of a sports car to broaden its appeal. The Bel Air featured gun sight ornaments and the front and rear of the car included fake air intake and exhaust ports. The tail fins were said to have been inspired by the F-86 Sabre jet fighter. It had a powerful 265 cubic inch V8 engine. This Bel Air was a powerful car with a dual quad 283 cubic inch engine which produced 245 horses and came with a two-speed power glide transmission. This Chrysler 300E had a 413 cubic inch V8 engine rated at 380 horsepower. These letter cars represented the performance version of Chrysler's top-end luxury vehicles. The 300E had a limited production with only 550 two-door hardtops and 140 convertibles built. This BMW Roadster was praised at the time for its straight-line speed. The 507 reached a top speed of 120 miles per hour with its 3.2-liter aluminum alloy, 8-cylinder engine, and 4-speed manual transmission. The Aston Martin Mark III is best known as the gadget-filled car James Bond drove in the Ian Fleming movie Goldfinger. Later models of the Aston Martin would appear in Bond movies over the years. It had a 2.9 liter engine and was rated at 162 horsepower. This mid-size luxury vehicle was built from 1959 to 1967. It was a fast and capable sedan in line with Jaguar's 1950s advertising slogan, Grace, Space, Pace. It came with a 2.5 liter V8 engine. The Morris Mini is one of the most significant automobiles of the 20th century. The simple design broke all the rules with its transverse mounted four cylinder, 52 cubic inch engine and front wheel drive. It had a range of 40 miles per gallon. The Mini cost $1,340 and offered surprising interior space while only 10 feet long. The Nash Metropolitan was sold as a Hudson when Nash and Hudson merged in 1954, thus forming the American Motors Corporation. With a 91 cubic inch four-cylinder engine, it was designed as the second car in a two-car family. The Metropolitan was considered a good thing in a small package. This beautiful Corvette came with a 281 cubic inch V8 engine and a manual four-speed transmission. The Scout was a precursor to the modern SUV and was a direct competitor with the Jeep. It had a 152 cubic inch four-cylinder engine with four-wheel drive. The Scout came either as a two-door SUV or a two-door pickup. This BMW 700 RS is one of only two early prototype race cars built with a custom fabricated lightweight steel tube space frame designed specifically for competition. Its rear mounted 43 cubic inch engine was rated at 78 horsepower. This 1963 Stingray had a 327 cubic inch V8 engine that produced 360 horsepower. As the second generation of Corvettes, the Stingray was known for its split rear window and hidden headlights. This Thunderbird introduced what Ford called the projectile style, a reflection of the popularity of jets, rockets, and space travel in American culture of the early 60s. Known as the Bullet Bird, the car came equipped with a fiberglass tonneau cover with built-in streamlined headrests, thus turning the four-passenger convertible into a sporty two-seater. It had a 390 cubic inch V8 engine. Only 455 sport roadsters were built in 1963.
With its luxurious interior trim and upgraded upholstery, the Bonneville was Pontiac's most expensive car through the 1960s. It came with a 421 cubic inch V8 engine and automatic transmission. The Avanti was the first and only sports car ever produced by Studebaker. This particular Avanti was the first Avanti ever built. It had a 289 cubic inch engine with 240 brake horsepower. The turbocharged version held the land speed record for an American production car of 241 miles per hour from 1962 until 1992. After Studebaker went out of business in 1965, the Avanti continued to be built by several private companies until 1992. This Riviera had a 425 cubic inch nail head V8 engine with 3 speed automatic transmission. The Riviera was a personal luxury car and was General Motors first entry into the prestige class. This was the fourth generation Thunderbird. It came with a 390 cubic inch V8 engine with a 3 speed automatic transmission. The car was very popular, selling over 92,000 units in 1964. It could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 11 seconds. This Impala had a top-of-the-line Super Sport trim package and was distinguished by spinner-style wheel covers, an SS Impala logo within the grille, and Super Sport badging on the front fenders and trunk lid. It has a 327 cubic inch V8 engine producing 275 horses. Labeled as a personal luxury car, the Toronado had a longitudinal front 425 cubic inch V8 engine with front wheel drive and three speed automatic transmission. The 1966 Toronado was named the Motor Trend Car of the Year. This 1967 Thunderbird had a 429 cubic inch big block V8 engine with 3 speed automatic transmission. Ford abandoned the unibody construction in favor of the traditional body on frame. Designed by Carol Shelby, the GT 500s had a padded roll bar plus fiberglass hood front fenders, and trunk lid to reduce weight. Powered by a 428 cubic inch V8 engine, it produced 355 horsepower. This much-loved Volkswagen camper was powered by a four-cylinder engine with four-speed manual transmission. The Type 2 was offered as either a passenger cargo van or a panel van. Type 2s were commonly referred to as splitties due to their split front windows. This two-seat GT style sports car was classified as a muscle car, but it was unique for its short wheelbase. It had a 343 cubic inch V8 engine providing 280 horsepower. The car was a direct competitor of the Chevrolet Corvette. This Citron was powered by a 133 cubic inch four-cylinder engine with five-speed transmission. The car's elegant aerodynamic design featured an automatic leveling suspension system with variable ground clearance settings, providing an exceptionally smooth ride. The Citron also had a directional headlight that followed the steering, plus front-wheel drive and front disc brakes. The Esprit's folded paper design was cutting edge for its time. John DeLorean later contracted with Lotus to design the famous DeLorean DMC-12, which looks very similar to the Esprit, minus gold wing doors and a stainless steel body. The Lotus had a 120 cubic inch V8 engine with 5-speed manual transmission. 
This electric commuter car was powered by eight six volt lead acid batteries supplying six horses. The car could accelerate to 30 miles per hour in 15 seconds with a top cruising speed of 35 miles per hour and a range of 40 miles on one charge. The DeLorean is named after John Z. DeLorean, a former General Motors executive who built the car in Belfast, Northern Ireland. The DeLorean was designed under contract with Lotus and is noted for its stainless steel body and go-wing doors. The car was powered by a PVR 174 cubic inch V6 fuel injected engine. The Ferrari 308 had a 2.9 liter V8 engine with four twin choke Weber carburetors. The body of the 308 was entirely made of glass reinforced plastic, making it very light at 2,315 pounds. The Tesla Model S is a plug-in electric car with 779 braking horsepower and a range of 335 miles. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. <music>